For me, travel is really an eye-opening experience, both for my creativity, but also for my palate. I'm John Uzzini. I'm a pastry chef, an author, a motorcyclist, and a world traveler. Collaborating with Lombardian to unlock this city, I'm looking to capture some of the unique flavors of this town. First stop is Gracious Bakery to see what my old colleague Megan is up to. All of these are inspired by French classics, but we kind of think about how can we make them different. And this is a everything croissant. Um, we took the idea of uh, everything bagel. We um, put the everything spices on top of our croissant. Creating an eclair for New Orleans. That's so important to me to find inspiration from where all the different cultures originated from. And this is a perfect example of that. I discovered a unique community resource for local spices and herbs. I really feel like with New Orleans, the tradition is a lot more about foods. You know, one of the things that people always use in everything is filet, so we have a really nice filet, which that. is a sassafras leaf ground up, and people use that in gumbo. Essential oil is something that I use a lot in the, in the pastry kitchen. Really, we get a lot of people to come in for yeah. it. We get chefs, we get um, bartenders, we get people who use it in perfume. When it comes to coffee, New Orleans has a very distinct flavor profile. What's really special about New Orleans is chicory. There's a natural sweetness in the chicory root mixed with coffee to stretch it out when coffee became so expensive. A special, unique cafe au lait. Most visitors who come to NOLA leave with a bag of pralines. It's a candy-making process specific to the French Quarter. The sweet, buttery, caramelized brown sugar flavor coupled with toasted pecans make this crumbly candy absolutely addicting. It's great to catch up with Blake. He's a former protege and a Louisiana native. Hey, Blake. What's up, chef? What are you cooking with right now? With the spiciness in New Orleans, I've got some of the local honey infused with pimentone, which is oh, like wow. a spicy paprika sort of uh, flavor. In my search for the perfect ingredients, I'm meeting up with Chef Donald Link, a true pioneer in New Orleans cuisine. To me, the greatest thing about New Orleans is that it's a continually evolving food. The South Louisiana has that, that French Cajun influence, whereas New Orleans food is a lot more on this Creole side. 10 years ago, when you went to the farmer's market, all you really saw were bell peppers. And we do all the hot sauces. You know, I use these a lot in place of uh, pepper. The modern day cocktail was born in New Orleans. Chris Hanna is widely known as one of the most knowledgeable bartenders in town. What's the one drink I can't leave town without? I always make sure people have the Sazerac. Six dashes of Peychaud's, uh, sugar cube, two ounces of rye. Then we're gonna go for a little herb saint. That is a, a thing of beauty, my friend. I'm envious. What are some of the things you like to put in your bitters? Uh, sassafras leaves in it. Gum gumbo filet. So I call them gumbo bitters. Giacomo's eclectic menu reflects the personality of the town. We're just a big mixture, big gumbo of uh, different cuisines. You have Cajun influence, Creole influence, soul food influences. What spices or herbs might define more of Cajun styles of foods? Cajun is going to be less uh, vegetable based. I really like the hearty flavors, the, 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 you know, just something sticking to your ribs. There's something here for everybody. And that's New Orleans, too. The Eclair's flavors have to be as bold as the city's tradition. I'm using sassafras, pimenton, and hot sauces as my base flavors, filled with a decadent cream infused with coffee and chicory, glazed with a combination of herb saint and Creole bitters, garnished with rich, buttery pecan pralines. This is my eclair inspired by New Orleans.